so at all. My country people watching me from all parts of the world. This can and get on surface again at the internet space so to drop another shocking update at this moment. According to her, she maintained that Kubana chief priest told her not to remove the belly where she called and told him, Pasca, I don't carry belly for you. Oh, what should I do? Tell me on time before it will be too late. According to her, Kubana chief priest promised her that he's going to take care of her, that she should leave the belly, that he's not married. My country people hey, hey hey according to her also she said she stayed in nigeria for about two months she went back to kenya when she went back to kenya she called kubana chief priest yes so i am back to kenya since then he refused speaking her call my country people i'm going to allow you guys at this moment to watch this video don't forget to like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe and turn on your bell notification for more amazing updates and if you are watching me from facebook please follow my page god bless you Enjoy the rest of the video and don't forget to leave your own comment down below. Line. Now it was going two months and a half. Now I was trying to chat Pascal on WhatsApp. He was saying that he will talk to me later. He keep on telling me, ignoring me. And I even told him, okay, fine. If you want me to do a now. Let me do because I don't want problems with you. I will not want problem with you at all. So he said, okay, don't remove the baby. I keep the baby until I came back home. We were just chatting. When I landed to Kenya, I told him I'm in Kenya. Pascal blocked me. I tried to call him direct. I told him, Pascal, why are you blocking me? I'm pregnant for you. Why are you doing this to me? When he hear my voice, he will hang up the phone. I saw, I sent him the baby. That was a hour when I gave birth. He sent the emoji of puking. And he said, my, my, that thing can never be his son. He said, this child can never be his. His money is for his family. Ame, 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 ashao. He said too much things to me. But I told him, Pascal, I forgive you for everything that you did to me and your child. But I know I'm not perfect. <laughs> the only thing that I wanted you, just to come and take care of your child, no matter what. Because the baby will grow and they will ask me, where is the father? <laughs> I know single women out there it's not easy nobody wishes all this but what i can say today i forgive you i forgive you for the insult i know it's not easy for you too and me too but i pray for you that no matter what please please Bear with me. Just help your child. Because as you can see now, I don't have anything. I've used all my savings since I was pregnant up to now. I'm begging you. I know I've hurt you or any other way. I'm sorry. But please. Please. For just for the sake of your baby. I've been crying so as this saga of Kubana chief priest and the alleged side chick from Kenya is trending at the internet space. A lot of good Nigerians, they don't choke mouth for this matter, my country people. And this person wrote, that is Charles Aose wrote, since Kubana chief priest has denied that the child with the Kenyan lady is not his, I am offering to help with the child's upkeep. Kenyans are the brightest mind on this continent and a Kenyan sister 
can't be left stranded with a newborn baby in Nigeria just because the man she believed to be the father is denying responsibilities. If she is still stranded in Lagos, I will help to get the Kenyan government to fly her back home. If the girl doesn't take my offer, it then means that this could be just another plot to pull Kobanachi Prince down, which will be unfair. Dear Kenyans of my page, if you can recognize the sister in the picture, please let me know and we will try to assist her to Kubanachi priest. Your long pose was very wrong and unnecessary. You started by insulting people who gave birth in Nigeria and Kenya as if there is anything special with sending your wife to America to have a baby. You should actually be ashamed that your wife can't give birth at home. Beth runs to America to have her children, which puts her life at risk during the long flight as a pregnant woman. Some of the things you guys do because you have little money is actually shameful. The same way that I am ashamed of my own son not wanting to come back to Nigeria, hmm, but hold to citizenship outside of his home country. This is a shame to us and not a thing of pride. So next time, don't tell us how rich you are. Simply say, I am not responsible for the lady's pregnancy and I am not interested in the DNA test. Then move on with your life until the mother decides to go to court. And this is for other men out there. If a woman says you are responsible for her baby and you once had something with her, Please, if you want to have something without protection with her, please go for DNA test and take care of your baby if the baby happens to be yours. Please treat the woman with humanity. She is someone's daughter. She deserves some closure, privacy, arrange DNA test and confirm the paternity of the child. My offer to the mother includes helping to get her back to Kenya safely and ensuring that she is well settled down in Kenya. My name is Charles Awaze and I'm Pan-African. My country people, all I can see in this game is that Kobana Chipri just tricked this Kenyan girl just to get her back to Kenya and to abandon her so that she will not spread the news why she's still in Nigeria. To or to, my wonderful people, watching me from all parts of the world, what do you have to say about this? Please kindly leave your own comment down below. What do you have to say? Because your opinion is needed under the comment section. And don't forget to share this video so that others can watch and learn. How can you see a man for the very first time? You they open your leg. Wow. What is this man carry disease? Hey, you as a married man, how can you see a girl for the very first time? You have a wife at home, a beautiful one for that matter. You just open your leg one, put that thing inside without protection. What are you expecting? Now the fruit is out and you're trying to deny. I beg, Oga. Hey, hey, hey. I don't think there is any need for a DNA test though because everything is already confirmed. Okay, guys, leave your own comment down below and don't forget to share this video. God bless you. See you guys in my next update.